Welcome to this video which will show you how to use a simulation parameter in Analytic Solver Platform or a subset product such as Risk Solver Platform, Analytic Solver Pro, or Risk Solver. In the previous video, recall how I showed you how to quickly set up and run a Monte Carlo simulation model to forecast profits in the coming sales year. Remember that we started with a profit point in the hot economy of $11 that we increased to $12 and then again to $12.50. This can be accomplished automatically by using a simulation parameter. Select cell L9, then click Parameters, Simulation. We'll enter 11 for our lower bound, and let's use 14 for our upper bound, and click OK. If we inspect the cell, we see the PSI sim param function has been inserted into cell L9 with a lower bound of 11 and an upper bound of 14. In addition, if you take a look at the task pane, we see that cell L9 has been added as a parameter. Before we run the simulation, let's increase our number of simulations to 7. This means that in the first simulation, the profit in the hot economy will be $11. In the second simulation, the profit in the hot economy will be $11.50. And then the third, the profit will be $12, and so on, all the way up to a profit of $14 in the seventh simulation. Now click the green arrow on the Platform tab to run all seven simulations. In a fraction of a second, Solver finishes. Now there are multiple ways to view our results. First, let's just take a look at the statistic values in our Uncertain Function dialog. So right now we are looking at simulation number seven. This simulation used 14 for the hot economy profit. And you see that our mean across all 1,000 trial values was 322,000. Our minimum value was negative 17,000. And our maximum value was about $825,000. I can switch and choose simulation number four. And the dialog will update with a new mean, minimum, and maximum values. Let me save. And let me show you some additional ways to view our simulation result. First, go to Charts, Multiple Simulations, and you see that Analytic Solver Platform offers multiple ways to view our simulation results. I'm going to choose Box Whisker. I'm going to click the double arrow to include all seven simulations in my chart. Then I'm going to click OK. And here's our chart. The bottom whisker denotes the minimum value in the simulation. The bottom of the green triangle denotes the 25th percentile value. The solid black line denotes the median value. The dotted line denotes the mean value. The top of the green rectangle denotes the 75th percentile value. And the top whisker denotes the maximum value. And here we see results for all seven of our simulations. Now note, this information is only available after each solve. If you make any changes to the spreadsheet, you'll need to run a new simulation. Now, what if I wanted to see the value of some of these parameters? Well, let's close this chart and then click Reports, Simulation, Parameter Analysis. Let's choose the mean and scroll down to the maximum and the percentile. We'll ask for the 75th percentile. I'm going to include my parameter in my report, then click OK. A SIM analysis report is inserted directly in front of the forecast spreadsheet. The first column lists our parameter value starting with 11 and going down to 14. The next three columns list the maximum, mean, and 75th percentile values for each of our simulations. Note that this report appears in a separate spreadsheet from our model and is in a fixed layout. What if we wanted to capture values from each optimization run in cells of our own choosing? In this case, we can use the PSI mean function again, but this time with a second argument. Recall from our previous video that we entered PSI mean into cell D12 to capture the average profit across all trials. If I enter the simulation run here, and then enter the formula again, using F4 to anchor the cell, and then referencing the simulation number here, I can pull this 
formula down. Now I click the green arrow to run a new simulation. And here we see the average profit for each simulation listed in cells D13 through D19. Lastly, we can use this drop down menu to select a specific simulation. If I select simulation number three, we see that the profit for the hot economy was $12, and the average profit here matches the average profit in this cell. To conclude, frontline solvers for simulation not only allow you to use the latest simulation techniques to solve a model, but also to perform a parameter analysis, giving you insight into your model's solution quickly and efficiently. As always, if you have any questions or problems, please contact us at www.solver.com.